Welcome to Issues. I wanted to examine the last two minute scene of the film, The Tree of Life. And I wanted to have a very narrow focus looking at just, just one symbol that's used in that, that final scene. Now, I, I want to explain where I'm coming from with the analysis I want to do. I believe that Malik has a real understanding of Carl Jung's psychology of archetypes and of dream symbolism. And I believe what he's doing with this film, um, the, the sections that most people don't understand or have struggled with, he's basically using um, Jung's notion of the, the sim symbol language of dreams, right? So it's like dream logic. And, and it, the, what Malik is doing, I can relate it to other films like Birdman. Um, I feel like in this dream logic was used in um, Jacob's Ladder or Mulholland Drive, right? And uh, Fellini's Fellini Satyricon, right? So it's it's almost like you're within a dream, and and what what Malik is doing in certain segments of the film is employing dream symbolism and dream logic, right? So so what I want to do in looking at this final scene, okay, I want to view this final scene as. Um, the, the mother, Jessica Chastain's character's internal psychological struggle, right, as expressed, right, through through dream symbolism and dream logic, because I believe that's what Malik is doing here. Now, the, the symbol, I, I, to keep this focus, the symbol I want to look at is simply the, the doorways that he shows. So there are two or three times when Malik in this scene shows uh, a doorway, right? A threshold. And I wanted to discuss how he's using that symbol to communicate in the film and what he's trying to communicate. But before we, before we start playing the video, um, I want to explain, you can look at this final scene as being divided into three parts. So the first part is, is Jessica Chastain's character, the mother in her, in her, in her interior mind or interior unconscious emotional struggle saying goodbye to her son all right so it's it's this is her working through and, and finally saying goodbye to him letting him go that's the first third the second third is her you see her walking toward the sun and you the, the the two other women are going through a sort of like a sun baptism ritual with her outside right that's her um finally resolving and accepting in her mind that he's gone and then the final part is when they show the field of sunflowers that symbolizes the peace that comes with the acceptance, her acceptance of her place in the universe as part of the, the, the masses of people and creatures and beings that have had to let go of someone they love through death. And, and the, the, the sort of, you know, glory that comes with repeating that pattern that everyone else goes through that universal experience so so okay so now now we'll go and look at the video and again i'm just going to look at the first third and i will want to look at specifically those those doors that they they walk through so we'll begin the scene So here, here we see they're about to approach the, this doorway, right? And um, in, in Jungian psychology, a doorway, a house is an entity. It's, a, it's, it's usually the person, right? The, the house usually symbolizes the person dreaming, right? And in, in, this, in this instance, they're inside the house. And... The, the, the doorway is a point of transition. It's, it's a threshold where you go from one state to another. So physically, you're going from the inside to the outside, right? But that also symbolizes going from 
you know, one state of mind to another, right? There's a psychological component. On one level, I think you can look at this, the symbolism that there's, we're seeing here as they approach the doorway. Um, the mother, Jessica Chastain's character, has been struggling with saying goodbye to him. And when we, when we go through psychological pain and suffering and loss, we go, we're, we're really in an interior state, right? We're, we're consumed with this interior conscious and unconscious struggle as we try to, you know, grapple with and, and finally come to accept that we've lost someone. Um, and, and then once we accept that, we don't have all this inner energy consuming our, our, you know, our consciousness and we can turn our attention outwardly again, right? That's what I believe partly is going on here. This is saying, she, you know, she's finally getting to the point where she's going to say goodbye to him. So she's moving from this interior space to this outside space. She's going to be freeing up energy to, to, to turn her attention back to the outside world. Um, and, and of course, it also symbolizes just crossing a threshold, which is saying goodbye. So we'll continue here. You'll see she remains at the, at the doorway. He's leaving, right? So she's letting him go. She, he's saying, she's saying goodbye to him. He's hesitating, obviously, he's a young person, and it's hard, very hard to separate, right, for anyone at, at, at death. But that's what he's, he's hesitating here with. They, they, they both are to some extent. And there's that final separation. What we see here, now we've transitioned from like the house. And now, now what we see is a, a detached threshold. It's a detached doorway. We, we, it's not inside anymore. So this is kind of reminding us of the earlier scenes where Sean Penn's character is in that that red rock desert area and he's on a journey and he, he keeps walking through these wooden thresholds these doorways and this is similar they're detached right so i believe what's going on here is <clears throat> she's outside so she's outside of her she's crossed the threshold from the in, interior to the exterior she said goodbye to him right and and now she's outside and she's going to move to a new state And this is the, the second third that I mentioned, the middle third of the scene, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, once she says goodbye to him, right, then, then she has to go through this middle scene, this ritual of, of really accepting that he's gone and she has given him up. And then I mentioned the final scene. That's where the, uh, she's finally accepted it and she accepts her rightful place in the universe. So that's it. Um, if you have any any comments, I certainly would love to hear them. Uh, feel free to, to comment in the comment section. Thank you.